Let's check out the China server to see what new units they have added to the game and see what direction we can prepare for in the global server. This is the elite recruit pool. As you can see, the SSR and SR are still the same and no new character have been added to this pool, except for one rare unit. Now let's check the epic recruit pool. The pool is also the same as global server. This means you can feel free to summon as much as you want and don't need to save your epic or elite vouchers for a new hero coming soon to the pool. However, keep in mind that the new SSR characters that they will be adding will be available with black ticket vouchers. So save as many as you can for a new hero you're interested in. We will see which hero they have added to the game so far. As you can see, the total character is 75, and in global we have 68, which means 7 characters have been added so far. The 5 new added SSRs will include King, Metal Bat, Metal Knight, Silver Fang, and Zombie Man. Boros has just been released on global server as the limited recruit banner, and the next one should be King. Now let's talk about the SSRs and how strong they are. First, we will take a look at Carnage Kabuto. He is easily one of the best SSR you can get, a top tier tank. He is very easy to build, just stack all HP stats. Even his first skill add more damage based on his max HP. His second skill allows him to heal himself and give the injury debuff. More importantly, his passive will reflect 20% of the damage on the whole enemy team, so you can use Kabuto in any lineup. Kabuto and Piri Piri Prisoner has the slowest base speed in the SSR category, but Kabuto doesn't need speed to shine. He can be the slowest and still intimidate the enemy team because he makes you want to kill him last since you will think twice of the reflect damage that your team will take. He is good in both PvE and PvP. He works best in the front line. Next up is Deep Sea King. He is also a top tier tank. If you have him, you should build him. He is more of a damage tank compared to Carnage Kabuto. His first skill gives the enemy Corrode, which causes damage over time. And his second skill will deal a ton of damage if Deep Sea King is low on health. You can give him some attack substats if you have, but you will still want him on HP for his main stats. His passive gives him a shield when he is lower than 50% health, and this will give him good survivability. He also has a core skill, which is why he is very strong. If used in PvP, since many players will try to AoE burst you down, he can generate up to 4 energy for your team instantly if you block. On top of that, he will also give 30% damage reflect for your whole team. Deep Sea King can be used in any lineup as well, and good in the front line. Terrible Tornado is currently the strongest AoE burst. She has the highest base attack compared to the other SSRs. She also has the highest base speed tied with Child Emperor, which allows her to go first to burst AoE the enemies and give them injury, and allow another AoE follow-up combo. Her first skill does a lot of damage and attacks 3 times. If you can crit, you can give your enemy the weakened debuff, which lowers their attack by 10%. Her second skill can cause injury to the main target and nearby enemies. Not to mention that this skill also has a 20% increased crit chance, so you can almost count on it landing a crit most of the time. Her passive works well with her skill too, which is what makes her the strongest AoE burst. However, one thing to note is, for single target fights like club boss, other units can outshine her. But for PvP, she is one of the best units right now. Child Emperor has one of the best core skills right now. Although his first skill only does pure damage, his second skill is very strong. It can stun the main target and potentially give the entire row shatter debuff. His passive is also very OP. He can give your allies berserk, which increase their damage by 30% in the same row. This means you will want him to be the fastest unit in your team, so you can stun, then shatter, and give your allies berserk and follow up with a strong AoE burst to one-shot the enemy team. Currently, he is favored in both PvP and PvE. His core skill is very strong for short fights, 
but the downside is if the fight goes on for too long, the effect isn't useful as it only triggers 4 times in a battle. But overall, he is a top tier unit. Atomic Samurai is the best duelist in the game right now. Although his first skill is pure damage, his passive lets him hit multiple times. His second skill allows him to hit all enemies and potentially give them shatter with a 50% chance. Not many units have skills that can hit both the front row and the back row, which is why this unit is very strong. He can be paired with other duelists like Sonic or Golden Ball, which makes him very OP. He is one of the SSRs that I'm still missing, but hopefully one day I can summon him. I'll do another summon video soon, so please stay tuned for that. Now let's talk about Boros. Over time, more SSRs will be added to the game, and he is the first. In the beginning of the video, we saw that new SSRs will be added exclusively, and they're only available through limited black ticket summons, so these limited units are very special and rare. Boros has the second highest base attack short by 1 compared to Terrible Tornado. His first skill can give himself Berserk buff. This is useful when you don't have units to buff him like Moomin Rider or Child Emperor, so he can just spam skill 2. His skill 2 makes him the best single burst in the game period. Aside from Amai, a SR unit, not many units can compare with Boros' single target burst. I have two videos of him in my channel, so if you haven't seen them yet, you should go check them out. Please note that however, to maximize his potential, his skill 2 requires 3 espers in the team, which can be very hard to have in your lineup unless you have all the specific units required. But even with just 1 or 2 espers, his single target damage is just insane. His passive is pretty good as well. I have a video showing good synergy between him and Dr. Genis. He can be in the front or the back line if he has enough HP, since his passive can support his survivability. However, he doesn't perform too well in PvP arena. Arena fights rely on speed and AoE burst. Boros can kill one unit for sure, but you have other units like Terrible Tornado or Atomic Samurai which can one-shot the enemy team, which makes him not really effective in PvP. Subterranean King is a solid duelist if you do not have Atomic Samurai. For damage over time lineups, he is one of the must-have in your team. His first skill only does pure damage, but kind of like Atomic Samurai, his passive allows him to do follow-up damage with his first skill multiple times per round. His second skill hits 5 times and gives the enemy rope burn, which does quite some damage. His base speed is also pretty fast, the same as Atomic Samurai, so overall he's a solid unit. Not the best, but not the worst for sure. He can be used in many monster-only content. Super Alloy Blackluster is another solid tank. So far we have seen Kabuto and Deep Sea King, and if you add him as your third in your front line, you are good to go. Your front line should stall as long as possible, and he does just that. His first skill can give himself Tenacity, which absorbs damage. His second skill does a cross-shaped area damage that can give the injury debuff. And on top of this, he gives your two lowest HP allies a buff that shares 40% of the damage taken, and lets them take 20% less damage. This protects your team well. We have seen Kabuto as a super tank, Deep Sea King as a DPS tank, and now Super Alloy Blackluster as a support tank. On top of all of this, his passive gives your allies in the same row 40% ultimate damage reduction, reducing the chance of you getting one shot in the arena or PvE, which makes him viable in any lineup. He also avoids fatal damage taken for the first time per battle. That alone is very OP. Now let's talk about Vaccine Man. Vaccine Man isn't a bad unit, but it isn't the best either. He works very well with damage over time lineup strategies. His first skill deals single target damage with extra damage based on your max HP. What does this mean? He can be put in your front line with HP stats, but this will affect his damage for skill 2, so keep that in mind. His skill 2 attacks 3 times and can inflict burn. Among other Esper units, you want Terrible Tornado or Boros as your first pick when considering AoE or single target damage. This is why Vaxi Man isn't up there. His second skill also hits 3 times only and it's just one row, compared to other units that can hit 5 times like Subterranean King or hit all units like Atomic Samurai. Passive however, is very strong when you have a damage over time lineup, such as Subterranean King and so forth. 
Quaribas is a unit that will cost you 24,000 gems. His shards are currently obtainable only from the mystery shop for 300 gem per shard. His first skill hits two times and can give damage over time if you crit, which isn't too bad. His second skill hits each enemy in a row five times and has a chance of giving corrode, similar to Subterranean King, giving a damage over time. But this needs to crit to give the other allies corrode other than the main target. His passive increases your team's attack by 10%, up to 30% for each corrode on the enemies. He can be a great addition to damage over time teams and good support for attack bonus damage. Garugan Shoop is the other SSR that I'm missing apart from Atomic Samurai in the Elite Summoning Pool. His first skill hits a single target three times and grants a random ally Berserk. This is very strong, however, this means that you need to build him fast so you can take advantage of the Berserk buff. His second skill attacks enemy row five times and gives them the fair debuff. This debuff seals one energy for one round, which is very useful for PvP. This can cause a disruption for your enemy combo if you get the first hit. Please note that King, an upcoming limited time summon, will also have a skill that gives AoE fear. So if you want to pair him with Garugan Shoot, your team will be very strong in PvP. His passive can be very OP if you have the correct lineup, which can deal a lot of damage to all targets. Melzar Guard is also a very rare unit that's available in the Epic Summoning Pool, with a 0.5 rate to summon the SSR. His first skill can reduce damage taken by 20%. Second skill hits enemy in a cross-shaped area 5 times and heal himself for 20% of max HP. All allies are also healed, which makes him a great support unit for your whole team. You can put him in the front or the back line. His passive will share 20% damage taken by all allies and reduce damage taken by 50%, protecting your whole team. Sonic is an average unit, however, his first skill is very useful since you can give a single target shatter 100% of the time. He doesn't work too good alone, but acts as a very good support if you have Atomic Samurai. His second skill deals single target damage and has a chance to increase speed on himself and adjacent allies. Most of the SSRs we have seen so far deal multiple strike or multiple targets, but Sonic only deals single target, and the damage can't even be compared to Boros' single target. So at most, he is a good support unit. However, please note that his passive is pretty strong. He works well with Atomic Samurai, Child Emperor, and Golden Ball. Tank Top Master is kind of like Vaccine Man, just an okay unit. This is due to the fact that he's one of the weakest SSR tanks when you compare him to Kabuto, Deep Sea King, or Super Alloy Black Luster. But if you don't have either of those SSR tanks, then you can build him. His first skill deals single target damage and reduced damage taken by 20%. Second skill deals damage to each enemy in a column and granting himself and allies in the same row tenacity. His passive also deals extra damage based on his max HP. Finally. We have Piri Piri Prisoner. If you haven't seen my Boros Summon video, I pulled him in there and I haven't used him since. He is good for figurine collection bonus. He is nowhere as good as the Piri Piri Prisoner you fought in the Diamond League promotion or the Hero X monster. He doesn't do a follow up attack every time you attack him. His first skill only does single target damage and that's it. If you compare that to other SSRs, he is already considered the weakest. If you take a look at his passive ability, his last hit will deal 40% splash damage, and if you crit, he will do more, which relies him to have crit to unlock his full potential. His second skill attacks a single target in the back 5 times in a row, and gives them the weakened debuff, lowering their attack by 40%. This means that you need him to almost always crit to maximize his potential, but that is impossible to do so at the moment. Now for the tier list. This is solely based on my opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you all in the next one.